And our last problem, what if the time is unknown? So you're going to use this formula for the time. So in your calculator, just find the function log and this function. Okay. Now let us apply that formula. We have this problem. Justin won 10,000 pesos and he in and he invested all the money in his bank that compounded annually with 2% interest rate. At the end year, he decided to withdraw all his money and found out that he has 11,040.81 pesos. How many years did he invest his money? So let us first determine all the given. Given. So we have the principal, which is P, 10,000. Then our K compounded annually, annually, 1. Look at the conversion period. Then interest rate, 2%. Rate is 2%. In decimal, that is 0 0.02. Just move twice to the left. And the time, that is unknown. And we have the future value, 11,040.81. Of course, we're looking for the time. We need to use this formula. So time is equal to... So just find this function in your calculator, then insert the following given. So we have log 1 plus r over k, r over k 0 0.02 over k is 1 times F over P, F over P, so we can delete this, or erase, 11,040.81 all over 10,000. Over K is 1. Now, get your calculator, find the function is 1. Just press that function, then insert the given, 1 plus 0 0.02 over 1, and 11,040.81. All over 10,000 and that will give us five or five years that would be our time so after five years the money will become 11,040.81 just in invested 10,000 pesos only so the interest is 1,040.81 after five years now we're done in our compound interest. Of course, you need to master all this formula. And of course, use your best friend, your calculator. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.